Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And to, to show off what we're going to be reviewing today, I'm going to be giving you a hint on what we're going to be reviewing today. So this song might be familiar to any of you Transformers fans, because it's Transformers week. Here we go. song And yes, we are reviewing an item from Beast Wars. And that's why we're reviewing an item from Transformers Beast Wars. And this is a newer figure based on one of the most iconic bots from the Beast Wars series. Optimus Primal, leader of the Maximals. And this is from the new line of figures called Transformers Classic Hero Teams Optimal Optimus Primal. Sorry if I had to correct myself there. But yeah, Optimus Primal is in the house. Yeah. And he transforms in two steps, which is pretty cool for these figures. And I just dig them. And I hope they do more of these figures because they're fun little figures to simple transform. But now we're going to look at Optimus Primal in his beast mode. And it looks nice. It looks just like he popped out of the Beast Wars cartoon series. Doesn't have any posability. But otherwise, this is a good looking robot mode. Now, for comparison. Here we have Optimus Primal next to his fellow Maximal. Rat Trap. And, of course, we got Kingdoms, Vertebrake, the uh, Drago, which is a repaint of the Vertebrake, next to that. And, of course, with Panther, which he is a Predacon, based on the Predacon Ravage. And, last but not least, Creo Cheetor. Why not? Why not do some Creo for comparison since I don't have the official Cheetor. But now we're going to transform him, which is simple. You're going to pull these arms out, and boom. There you got Optimus Primal in his robot mode, and this is a pretty good-looking robot mode. It would have been nice if they would have added posability. That is my only nitpick about this figure. But the paint and the head sculpt are wonderful. And I'm so glad to have this in my Beast Wars collection. He even went to the details of giving him his jet 
missile thruster things, which are awesome. It would have been cool if they included the blade function he had in the cartoon series. Because Optimus Primal was sick with those blades, slicing up Predacons with those blades. And that's what made him awesome to me. Plus, he was in that one episode when Rat Trap took over his room. He's like, get your stuff out of my room, Rat Trap. <laughs> oh, yeah, Optimus Primal. You think you can take him down, but he comes back. Good as new. But, yeah, this is a nice-looking figure for those Play School Classic Hero Team figures. Yeah, this is pretty nice version of Optimus Primal, and I'm so glad to have it. Because I've been needing an Optimus Primal for my collection. So this is not a bad one to get for under 10 bucks, which I got him for 10 bucks. I'd highly recommend him. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons in bot mode next to Optimus Primal. I'm transforming Rat Trap to compare next to Optimus Primal. Leader Optimus Primal. If I repeat, please do forgive me. I'm really, really, my head is a bit screwy today on the repeat function <laughs> in my head. Because I just got up from a nap. <laughs> but here we got Optimus Primal next to Maximal Rat Trap, his, his Maximal Rat Trap. And now we're going to transform Drago into his robot mode and get a comparison next to Rat Trap. Next to Rat Trap and Optimus Primal here. Which he is very simple to transform because I've memorized the transformation with this figure. What I love about transformations, after a while I can figure out how to transform them into bot mode and robot mode, which is nice. And that's why I did that musical montage today, just to throw back to Beast Wars today. Because I wanted to give you guys a hint on what I was going to be doing today. Which was fun for me to do a little musical montage as I showed this figure off. But here we got Vertebrake next to, next to Optimus Primal. Yeah, he's all bony from Kingdoms because he's a fossilizer combiner. And we're going to do two last comparisons, and then we're going to end this video. Here is Optimus Primal next to Black Panther, a.k.a. Ravage, my Ravage custom. Why not? Because Beast Wars Ravage showed up in the cartoon series. Why wouldn't I do that? And last but not least, little Creo... Cheetor, because it's precious. Beast Wars precious. Would I recommend you pick up these Beast Wars figures if you ever watched the Beast Wars cartoon like I did? Well, yes. If you've seen them, I'd say pick them up. They are awesome looking Transformers and they'll look nice in your Transformers Beast Wars collection if you start a collection for them. I'm glad I picked these up. They were worth the money. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.